Hi everyone, welcome to the Lotus Goddess. Um, for so today's reading, um, I'm just curious about what the angels would like to tell the Divine Feminines, okay? So uh, just keep in mind this is a general reading. Um, it is not a private reading. Um, everyone's on a different um, path, different phase on their journey. So we'll see what messages comes through. So just keep that in mind that um, it's a general reading. So just take what resonates. Uh, use your intuition. So let's see what messages comes through today. For the Divine Feminines. So this message is coming in for the Divine Feminines. What the angels would like to tell us at this time um, is that there is going to be a uh, wish fulfillment. There is happiness and a new beginning that lies ahead. Um, the angels would like to tell us that um, the Divine Feminines need to hold their strength. Um, because the Divine Masculine is really doing his best to um, cleanse his energy, meaning that he's um, uh, getting rid of any any kind of negative energy that does not serve the Divine Connection. Because um, I feel that the union in this particular reading, the union is very near and any kind of uh, negative energy uh, energy will um, delay the the uh, the process like it will delay um, the union okay so this divine masculine he's uh, trying to find strength within him to keep pushing forward um, I can see a lot of um, cleansing that is going on within the divine masculine um, he has learned a lot of um, life lessons and he no longer feels trapped or um or stuck in any in any kind of situation he feels free at this time so right now his main focus is to move towards uh the divine feminine towards union and to um i can see that he is very close to becoming his highest potential like the highest potential as a divine masculine that would be like like an emperor, like a king, okay? Other messages that I am receiving from the angels in this uh, reading for the Divine Feminines is that um, know that the Divine Masculine, he really loves you, okay? Uh, the Divine Masculine meaning the, um, the soul, okay? The higher self. Um, 
he wants he wants the divine feminine to know that he he truly uh loves the divine feminine um fully like this is a um godly divine love like an unconditional love and that is the message that is coming through today in this reading um i see a lot of overwhelming love um a lot of emotion um this divine masculine is overwhelmed with the amount of love that he has for the divine feminine and the angels are um saying that at this time it is important for the divine feminines to not um uh, give up hope because the um the connection will be restored um meaning that there will be um the divine masculine will make an effort to um resurrect like restore um rebuild the connection between him and the divine feminine in the 3D in the physical okay um the divine uh has has let the uh, divine masculine know of the um of the the importance of this connection okay the divine masculine may not know the terminology of twin flames but he knows that there is a spiritual connection between you and uh the divine masculine the divine masculine knows that you two are um forever connected like intertwined that you two are meant to be together and the angels want you to know to not keep any kind of um worries doubts um um fears to not let them um uh like overpower you and to not let them take take root okay at this time specifically at this time um i can see that uh this this connection is being well well taken care of it's being protected by uh not only the divine but the divine masculine he is uh consciously making an effort to take care of this connection um he is being very protective over the divine feminine and uh he's being um very cautious to um who he informs about um in regards to like moving towards the divine feminine he he is not going to um inform inform that many people of his plans okay uh this divine masculine is really moving towards uh the union we have the divine masculine emperor crown right over here we have the twin flame union uh twin flame charm over here we have um an alcohol bottle here for celebration we have the money sign here the divine masculine is working very hard uh financially so that he can move towards the union okay he wants to be well prepared and he is preparing for a celebration that's why they we have the alcohol bottle here this is all working towards a wish fulfillment i also see that there might be something that um like a message or some some kind of like um connection that will happen during the holiday season um so it's sometime this year so it could be like something short like um a a small message or um it could be like a text message or an email something like that just to get things um just to uh open the conversation you know like to get connected again this divine masculine i feel that uh he may also just um if he is at a distance like say if he he lives it, like around like 5 hours away i feel like this divine masculine might just jump into his car and then drive straight towards the divine feminine uh divine masculine um i see a lot of loyalty here um he's overcome a lot of obstacles and it has strain strengthened him um his he has become more consciously aware he's become more intuitive um he's connecting to his spiritual side um he now sees that the divine feminine is uh the way to his happiness um 
I can also see that um, once he does reveal his plans or um, connects with the divine feminine, it will lead to um, wish fulfillment and true happiness. It will be a new beginning. Okay, Th this is like a brand new life together with the divine feminine. Um, it will not be the way it used to be. It will be as if it's a completely new relationship. It will feel like a new relationship. He will feel like a new person. I feel like the Divine Masculine, he can't hold hold his feelings any longer um, because by holding his feelings within himself, he feels like it's become a burden. Um, I feel like he kept it... Uh, he kept it as a secret, like his love for his divine feminine. It was like a secret deep down uh, within himself. First, he had to acknowledge to himself and accept his feelings for his divine feminine. And once he did acknowledge those feelings, um, it became like a, a secret for him. And he really wants to express his love to the divine feminine. It's become a burden for him. Like he, he can't hold it in any longer. That's what I feel. So that's why um, this energy is coming in that sometime around the holiday season or sometime um, end of this year, or it could lead to even January, that there will be uh, a reconnect, meaning that there will be some kind of contact for this particular uh, reading. Whoever resonates with this divine feminine, this, this is what's happening with this divine masculine. He has released that pride that he once had. Um, this Divine Masculine had a bit of an ego. Um, and this ego is what um, got him into a third party situation, a, a mess in the past. Um, he's recognized his mistakes and um, he is now single. He is completely single, this Divine Masculine. Um, there was divine intervention that took place and um he is really working hard right now it's just at the moment he may feel a little bit stuck in regards to his home life or it could be in regards to some kind of financial situation but we do have the money sign here so he is going to receive some type of income so he will be able to save something before he moves towards the feminine and i think his plan is to create a strong foundation before he um, before he moves forward towards the feminine, okay? Yeah, this Divine Masculine, he experienced a lot of, um, a lot of jealousy from his previous partner and he knew that he needed to um, release that negativity that energy that um, he needed to release himself from that environment which he did it took some time um, but he has he has left that um, way of living um, now he is more focused on creating a stable home a stable foundation he wants to have a family life with the Divine Feminine, and he is only focused on reunion right now. Everything um, that I can see here and, and from what I feel in this reading is that um, the negative energy has passed and now he's just working towards the connection for Twin Flame reunion. So this divine masculine, he he really wants a strong foundation. So he, when he meets with the divine feminine, he's going to make it very clear that he is going. He when he comes, he's going to make it very clear that he's here to stay. Um, he's not going to be going anywhere. Like once he connects with the divine feminine, um, he is there to stay for for life. Okay. Um, 
another thing i can see here is that when he does connect with the feminine i feel like he he's trying to somehow um in some cases uh the divine masculine is going to try to meet up with the divine feminine around the holidays around christmas time um he wants to create new memories with the divine feminine i feel like this divine masculine does not want to be alone this christmas holiday season he doesn't want to be alone and he's working as fast as he can because it's already november and i feel like he's trying to save as much as he can um he might be um tapping into his whatever savings he has to make a move towards the feminine if the divine masculine is living at a distance um he might be making changes in his life to um to move towards the feminine uh this could be a permanent move or it could be that um he might be making changes so that he can uh come prepared to meet the divine feminine so this might involve um you know some kind of preparation um because when this divine masculine comes to the feminine he doesn't want to come empty-handed so what i feel is this divine masculine is either going to hop in his car and drive towards the feminine or take a flight and go towards the divine feminine or if he can't afford um to do the trip he might sell something like i feel like he might even sell his car and he might sell uh things to to save some money and then he might he might make a move like a permanent move towards the divine feminine like he's he's making changes in his personal life and he's going to try to save money before he comes towards the feminine that's what i feel from this reading um i see a lot of like uh, movement here a lot of movement towards love uh a lot of new beginnings um and a lot of things that show that he wants to connect with the feminine he wants to um, start anew he wants to make new memories with the divine feminine So uh, whatever whatever situation that the divine masculine was in, like if he was undecided about what to do, um, he's no longer in any kind of confusion. Um, I can see that there is a transformation that's going to take place. Um, this transformation is not only spiritual, but it is also um, like in the physical, like material. So if the divine masculine is really tight on money, I think that he will have a sudden shift in his finances or in his career. Um, this is being guided and blessed by God, by the angels, okay? He's going to receive blessings that will help him move forward. So, for example, if the Divine Masculine cannot afford his plane ticket to, war to go towards the Divine Feminine, there's going to be a sudden shift in his uh, financial area, this could mean that he might get a promotion or he might get a raise at work or he might get more hours to work or something like that something that will work in the favor of the divine masculine so he's able to save money so he can uh, go towards the divine feminine because this is divinely orchestrated and the angels are there to step in and to guide him and not only guide him but to also provide support to help him when when it's needed because they can see that this divine masculine is making an effort to move towards the feminine and they will not uh, let him be stuck you see they're going to guide him and they're going to support him and they're going to uh, intervene there's going to be divine intervention that will help this divine masculine move towards the feminine I see that this divine masculine he wants to ask a question and he's not sure how to ask the divine feminine this could be this could be a very important question um that he's planning to ask the divine feminine and he's thinking of different ways of how to 
uh, present. It, it has something to do with an offer. So he's thinking about how should I approach the Divine Feminine when I meet her and how do I ask this question and what is the best way to um, ask it. Um, the best way meaning not only um, how to say it but I feel like he really wants to plan it out and he really wants to uh, make it a very memorable moment because it's a very important question that he wants to ask the Divine Feminine. This could be a proposal that he might be asking like the Divine Feminine and this Divine Masculine, um, he he feels like I think he's using his intuition and he has an inner knowing that the Divine Feminine will say yes. So he, he's not too worried about what the Divine Feminine will say. Like he, I feel like this Divine Masculine is confident that the Divine Feminine will say yes um, if he proposes to her. Um, but he's just thinking of how to make it special for her so it will be a memorable moment for her. He wants to, he wants to make up for all the time that was lost and also he wants to um, give the Divine Feminine a beautiful life and he wants to do good things for her things which he hasn't done in the past he wants to make up for it and uh, starting with the question so he wants that first thing uh, that he does for the divine feminine to be a very special and memorable moment i see that uh, the divine masculine he has a lot of um uh, plans and he really wants this plan to come like he he wants to succeed and he wants his dreams to come true um i feel like when he does approach the divine feminine uh there will be uh some discussion around his home meaning his family um there will be a lot of um um like the world the word will spread like meaning that once he um, does connect with the feminine and uh, a lot of family members will know that these two have reunited this divine masculine is feeling a little bit nervous because i feel that this divine masculine did not um, communicate with the divine feminine for some time and he's kind of a little worried that the Divine Feminine, um, because the Divine Feminine is uh, is um, distant, like not meaning like um, far away from him, but meaning like they are not in communication right now. Like she's, she's living her life. Um, this is kind of making the Divine Masculine nervous and he, he might have a little bit of like, I feel like he's a little bit worried that the Divine Feminine will be sweeped off her feet by somebody else. <laughs> so this Divine Masculine, he's he feels like the time is um like the time is running out. He feels like um he needs to act fast. And I think there's a lot of um quick quickness that's going to happen. Like he he's really working hard to make this move, this um uh this uh, decision that he's taken, um, that he's made, he he really wants to put it into action. Um, I can also see that the angels are um, giving him guidance and he's become very wise about the situation. And he has an inner knowing that um, he needs to act fast and he needs to move now. He cannot move at a slow pace um, because he he did delay the process for quite some time but at this time the divine masculine is really being pushed by uh, the angels to move forward he's uh, being uh, guided by the divine so the Divine Masculine, um, he's going within to find a lot of uh, inner strength to, I feel like it's to build up courage to approach the Divine Feminine. And right now he's just thinking about um, not only how to, um, how to ask this question to the Divine Feminine, but 
he is also thinking about things that he wants to do during the holiday um this has to do with some there's another decision here that he's he wants to make um i feel like there's between two options um he has two options here um regarding some kind of decision he wants to make uh during the holiday season so I'm not exactly sure what kind of decision this is, but it's showing two two options here during the holiday season. Um, but it has to do with the divine feminine. Okay, so whatever it is, um, he has two choices to make for the, for um, him and his divine feminine. Uh, I feel like it could be either. It it it's something having to do with the plan. So. Once the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine meet, um, they will be having a discussion about their future. And then there's a decision that needs to be made between two options. So what I'm feeling, this could be either like, say, for example, I'll give this as an example. So say if the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, they connect, right? And they say, okay, now we're going to start a life together, but you live on the eastern side of the country and i live on the western side of the country um so where should we where should we live like should i move to your place or should you move to my place like that sort of thing so they're planning between two two options so i'm giving that as an example i'm not exactly sure um what the the um the decision is or what the options are it because it depends on the situation of the couple right but that's one of the um, one of the things I'm getting is that they might need to make a decision on where to live. Like this divine masculine might take a flight to meet the divine feminine during the holidays, but he may not even have moved. Like the, he may have just taken a trip during the holiday season just to meet with the feminine. But then when they have this discussion, like, oh, by the way, where should we live like for the future? So that's uh, one of the uh, topics that might arise when they do reconnect um yeah so uh if you like this reading uh please give a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and uh thank you for watching have a great day bye everyone